Hi, this is Sparky with SparkyOnline.com. Wanted to show you real quickly on uh, the ceiling fan boxes. This is some typical wiring. One of the things I want to point out, this is a pancake box, which is about uh, maybe a, a, an inch and a quarter deep. But if you'll notice that the screws actually go through the, the mounting hole here, and into the bottom of the box and actually thread in there. This is an actual UL rated fan box. You'll notice that we have a three wire coming out of it, the black, the red, the white. And in the next picture, I'll show you what, uh, what those hook up to. Okay, typically on a fan, the, um, the blue is the light, the black is the fan, and then the white obviously is the neutral and then the ground and there's the screws I was talking about going up through and threading into the bottom of the box to actually hold the fan support box now this is pretty important as far as the, the security of the fan being up in the ceiling I've seen ceiling fans mounted up there where they just have like one or two screws just kind of screwed into the uh, two by four and then a piece of Romex coming down and it violates several different codes this is just a further away shot, but I wanted to point out here, when I install or remove a fan, I always take the blades off. Um, it's more of a matter of preference, but um, for my case, it's easier so that you don't break the fans. Some fans you have to wait until after it's been up and hanging, because when you go to install a light kit on there, sometimes you can't get into the screws, but this is a basic fan. so. Briefly, that's just uh, about all there is to it. Now, as I said, typically on the, the the wire coloring here, this is what you normally run into. I see this most often. Well, that doesn't mean that the fan gets hooked up to the red. It depends on the way the switches are laid out and the electrician that wired it. But this is the most common. So, thanks for watching. Have a great day.